Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell, and today we're going to take a walk down Mamory Lane with Russ Meyer's bodacious classic, Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill. If you want one. Ladies and gentlemen, go, go for a wild, wild ride with the Watusi Cat. Ah, the dulcet tones of John Furlong, Russ Meyer's go to guy for voiceovers. He narrates many of Meyer's films, as well as many of his trailers. This is Russ Meyer's first masterpiece. Meyer had made several quote-unquote nudie cuties, as they were called back in the day. His first film was a movie called The Immoral Mr. Tease, which made a ton of money. And it's a bizarre film to look at today because it's very softcore. It stars a friend of his from the Army. And uh, literally the entire plot of the movie is uh, a guy wearing uh, a straw hat, walking around, suddenly has the ability to see through women's clothes. That's it. That's the entire plot of the film. It made a boatload of money, and it launched Russ Meyer's career and allowed him to move on to a more uh, subtle and sophisticated fare, like Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill. This is a crazy movie. Uh, the wonderful director John Waters has hailed it as the greatest movie ever made. And while I don't exactly agree, I find I really can't mount a serious argument against that particular thesis. It tells a story of three strippers who go out into the desert to look for thrills on the weekend. They race cars, beat guys to death, fall in love, take outdoor showers, and generally do all the things that strippers like to do when they go out into the desert to look for thrills on a weekend. Tura Satana is the lead, and she's an incredible screen presence. Tough as nails and frighteningly sexy. She was well-versed in the martial arts and displays them well in this film, which is one of the earliest films to actually use martial arts. She had to do some of her fight scenes in slow motion so as not to hurt her male co-stars, who were actually kind of afraid of what she could do to them, and rightfully so. The movie reeks of sex and filth and perversion and is often referred to as though it were a porn film, but you could actually show it today on primetime network TV and not cut a single frame. Well, you could probably show it on Saturday morning TV and not cut a single frame. Meyer's primary obsession was well known, and this trailer gives a good sense of what it was. I've often felt that if he were as obsessed with, say, eyes or cars or blondes or shoes as he was with breasts, he'd get more serious recognition as a filmmaker. He definitely deserved it. The term auteur gets thrown around a lot, but Meyer is one of the few true auteurs in American cinema. He conceived, wrote, co-wrote, shot, directed, edited, and produced all of his own movies, and they were all instantly identifiable as Russ Meyer movies. He was a radical filmmaker for the time. Uh, his editing style was like nothing anyone had ever seen back then, and he's gone on to influence generations of filmmakers who probably don't even know they're being influenced by Russ Meyer. It's also got some spectacular dialogue in it. One of my favorite lines describes a character like a velvet glove cast in iron. Faster pussy cat, kill, kill!